He's a very methodical, well-organized person. You know, he's not a serial killer. He's not kind of roaming the streets, murdering people. He's a dutiful, conscientious, sort of high-functioning person. Wednesday, 17th of January, 2024. Fucked up mood and day, humid weather overnight, didn't sleep well. I felt uncomfortable in every way from the moment I woke up. Everything was annoying, my hair felt ticklish, my clothes felt tangled and clingy. Everything I thought of was irritating or frustrating, I felt at odds with everything, terrible feeling. I went to the community centre job, explained to the boss immediately that I was in a bad mood and that I wouldn't be up to doing certain tasks today. We discussed what work I could do and I jumped onto that. I felt very grateful for my autism diagnosis and for the time that I've put into thinking about how my mind works since then. I think that in the past I would have drank loads of coffee and gone into a work environment that didn't allow for any flexibility in what tasks I could focus on while I was feeling this fragile. I would have been battered by a hundred tiny little things all day and then have been really upset or angry or have had had some kind of meltdown if I got to breaking point. Being able to put my head down and work on pulling weeds from a tiny bit of the garden was perfect. Knowing now that I can try to design my life and try to control situations so that I'm not fucked up further when I'm already in a fucked up mood has been a very good thing to have learned recently. Did the gardening, went to the library, walked around, ate some of one of the tomatoes growing at home, walked the beach early to bed, mood three, energy four, moods crazy, crappy, annoyed, exhausted, good, grateful, glad to have the autism diagnosis and to have spent time thinking about how to deal with things when I'm in moods like the one I was in today. Just a likable, kind, funny person. Really quirky. <laughs> Add to that determination, compassion, and a whip-smart brain. He was known to be a quiet man who liked his own company. However, people who did know him also described him as a nice, kind man. Gentle and caring, friendly and gregarious, someone with a loud, boisterous laugh. Certainly someone with no enemies. He was also in possession of some deep books. 